Here's how to make this grid scan effect in Blender in under two minutes. First step is to get the texture coordinates of a plane, delete the texture, and add a separate XYZ node. Subtract 0.5 from the vector to center your coordinates and add a ping pong and less than node in order to create a line. Add these into a group and duplicate the ping pong and less than node. Now you can connect your Y value into your second ping pong node and add in a maximum math node, connecting both your less than nodes into it. Now we can exit the node group and add in a vector rotate node in order to control the rotation of our effect, and also a vector scale node in order to change the scale of the grid. Now within this node group we have the basis for our whole effect, so we can duplicate uh, this frame twice, and within the second frame you can duplicate those nodes again, and you can change these two nodes here to minimum. Now create these four inputs for your group input. From here you can hook up all your X values into the top ping pong nodes and all your Y values into the bottom less than nodes and you can also hook up all of your uh, values that you set up in your input. Now for the last steps you want to duplicate this minimum node and input both the minimum and maximum into it. You also want to add an invert color node and connect this node into the color input. And now if we cycle through these you can see what each one of these broadly do. Lastly, by adding a, another minimum and maximum node and connecting them in this order, you can finally get the effect that we started with. And here is the final node setup. Now add in an area light, delete the emission, and copy and paste those nodes that you made. Now you can add in a color ramp to change it to whatever color you'd like. And in the light settings, make sure you put a high value for the power and you change the spread down to about zero or one or two degrees. And from here, you can control your lamp however you'd like. You can play around with and keyframe all the inputs for the node group. And if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial, I've uploaded a video on my YouTube page. Thank you.